a lot of times people will start out completely on the opposite ends of each other. Yeah. But then once you get to learn a person and break certain things down, it was just great to know that at the end they became good friends. I was just happy to know that it was a true story. Right. You know, and we didn't Hollywoodize this in any way. Yeah. Those were actual events. That's like, right. This actually happened because Rob and our director uh, worked very closely with um, Anne before she passed away yeah. and her family. And he uh, nurtured this film. I mean, he cared about this woman and her story. He cared about these people. And um, we understood the responsibility that we had to tell this story. Everyone, everyone that signed on to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and ended up speaking at his eulogy. Mm -hmm. yeah, they were, I, there was a rumor that he was going to propose to her, but his kids said If he had long, if he lived longer, <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, they probably wow. would have been a, yeah. an item. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, his wife passed away and yeah, who knows, yeah. I wonder, did they have a relationship or know each other before? You know, they had to. Get they knew of each cool other. Didn't yeah. They, they, they knew, knew of each other, other, and they didn't like each other. Um, and it just goes to show that hate is really taught. It's it's really mm -hmm. taught. This man right. learned to hate. He mm -hmm. didn't start off that way. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? That's he, why he 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 had a heart. Yeah. Because yeah. if he was born to hate, if that was just in him innately like that, why was it so easy to turn his heart? Yeah, he was. He wanted to be validated, and, and he looked to that to be validated. Yeah.